My mom's birthday is just around the corner and I have a lot of prep work to do. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I've been in the kitchen pretty much all day, kind of preparing for my mom's little birthday party that we're gonna be having here. I volunteered to make the cakes, plural, because she was a little indecisive about really what she wanted. So for one of the cakes, I made these little chocolate cheese cake cup things, and that will be a separate recipe video, so stay tuned for that. But they are very delicious and a favorite, and I made like over 80 cupcakes and then some mini cupcakes. So it's been already pretty busy. But the other cake that my mom wanted and will be like more of the focus of maybe pictures or whatever will be a German chocolate cake. So we are gonna make that today in today's video. I'm also going to be making my mom's birthday gift with you guys today and kind of giving you a little glimpse at what I'm giving her. And I'm gonna factor in another little craft for my mother-in-law. She has been wanting some of my crafts that I've been making and I thought that I would replicate the Christmas gift that I made for Juan, but for her. So let's get baking. I have a lot to do and Aubrey, I don't know how much longer she'll be asleep. So here is the little recipe that I'll be following. You guys can screenshot it now or I will also put everything in the description box below. This is what I'm hoping it's going to look like so we can compare when it's all done. But let me show you everything that I prepared actually last night in preparation for today. We've got our flour, our sugar, our, let's see, egg yolks, buttermilk, evaporated milk, butter, not this cupcake, egg whites, vanilla, salt, baking soda, sugar, the evaporated milk is for like the frosting, which will have coconut, these chopped pecans, but I actually, earlier today while my cupcakes were baking, I was breaking these guys up. Then we have some more sugar, vanilla, some egg yolks, and half a cup of butter. And then I can't forget the actual German chocolate that we're gonna be using, and I'm gonna melt it in hot water. So let me turn on that water now so that it can start boiling. But yeah, as you can see, it's been a pretty busy day of baking already. <laughs> As I'm making a total mess, but it'll be worth it. Okay, so I turned on the water and the recipe calls for half a cup of boiling water. And of course I'm like, well, does that mean I measure out a half a cup of water and start boiling it? Or do I boil a bunch of water and then measure out exactly a half a cup? I'm gonna do the latter just because that's the most accurate way I, you know, I'm interpreting the words on this recipe card. <laughs> I've never made this cake before, but apparently my parents and my aunts love it. So, you know, I wanna make my mom happy for her special day. So I'm gonna melt the chocolate in the boiling water once it is done. And then we're gonna cool that down and then cream it and add it into like all my other ingredients. So let me get out my kitchen made. I think that'll be a lot easier. For the other cupcakes, I use these big bowls and yeah, I, I like the KitchenAid for sure. Okay, so before I cream the butter and the flour and the sugar and all that, it does call for stiffly beaten egg whites and I'm gonna take care of that first and then just transfer them to a different container and still use the same bowl. That actually didn't really take that long at all and this is very stiff and nice and firm. My understanding of why we do this is to incorporate a lot of air into the cake and we're gonna fold these in nicely into our batter when the batter is ready. This is another reason why I love the KitchenAid because if I had to use a hand mixer for this it would take a whole lot longer and use my arms more than I want. <laughs> Now, if you have another KitchenAid bowl that you can just attach, you could leave these eggs in here and just replace the bowl, but we don't. And this is just the easiest thing that works for me. 
Also, since the batter will be going into here, you know, it's not the end of the world if a little bit of egg white is left over. Just as long as I get most of it out, things should be fine. All right, I'm gonna set these egg whites aside and put on the paddle attachment on my mixer and start creaming the butter. And then while this is creaming, I'm actually going to be dealing with the melting the chocolate in the boiling water. It's now boiling in my little tea kettle thing and it's time that I measure out that half cup. So I'm gonna cream this just a little bit and then I'll add in my sugar to incorporate that. this sit for the chocolate to get like nice and soft and then I'll mix it together. So while that is sitting, I'm going to add the next couple stuff on here. It says add the yolks one at a time and then add the vanilla and once this cools the chocolate. So I'll add in the eggs and the vanilla right now and then hopefully mix this up and it'll cool down quickly. good so far okay these chocolate things are definitely all broken up or all soft through so let's give this a good mix and hopefully it will cool down pretty quickly so I can keep up with making this batter because I have limited time as Aubrey is in her crib so one thing I think it's worth noticing or noting um, I decided to look like at the package here and for cupcakes at least, the ingredients differ a little bit. So I think that's kind of interesting. I wonder if, you know, they found a better recipe since the one that was posted in our little newspaper. I really don't know, but this is all melted. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take something out of the freezer and set this on top of it just so it helps it cool down a little bit. So anything that's like flexible like this that will hold your bowl will work. Okay, I think this is cooled down enough where it won't like cook the eggs or melt the butter or whatever. So I'm gonna add it into my mixture. So I've got my sifted flour, which I did last night and my salt and baking soda. And then I also have some buttermilk and it says to kind of alternate the dry with the wet. I really haven't, I don't think I've ever made a cake where I've melted chocolate in water except for like the chocolate mousse pie but that's not a cake so this is definitely a new experience for me but it's looking nice and chocolatey so you know who can complain but let's go ahead and add this in and while i do that i will be enjoying some gray's anatomy
somebody came down from her nap. And while, <laughs> while I was fil filming that time-lapse little video, I captured her getting to sample a mini cupcake, so I'll insert that Mommy. here. Mommy. Yeah, you can have your cupcake now. Mm. Peel the wrapper off. Peel the wrapper? Okay. Peel from wrapper of Mommy? Yeah, you did. And peel wrapper of it is. Where is Ooh. where is the cupcake gonna go? Here. No, when you eat it, silly. Eat? When you eat the cupcake. Where is it gonna go? And where's your esophagus? Good job. What do you think about the cupcake? Who And is it yummy? How much do you like it? So good. Mm. So the cake still needs a little bit more time baking. And I don't think there's any way I'm getting my crafts done before my parents, God bless you, before they get home from church. God bless you. But I'll just tell you what I'm gonna make and then I'll show you guys like what it is later on. So, <laughs> My mom asked for her birthday for us to like write letters of like our favorite memory of her, something that made us laugh. And I thought what would be cool is to like record my memory and generate a QR code that she can scan anytime and like either watch or listen to me retelling the story. I just kind of figured, you know, it's a little different and something small. So if I, if it works out, I'm gonna try to make these really cute magnets with the QR code on it. And I'm also including a QR code with like favorite memories, favorite thing about my mom and what the kids wanna tell her for uh, my six nieces and nephews and then for Aubrey. So I have to record Aubrey's responses and I'll probably do that now and use my iPad to get the sound bit and then I'll have to piece it all together and edit it tonight. Mm -hmm. But those are like little magnets that I want to do so that she can like have the magnets on her fridge and then if she's like, I wanna listen to, you know, Aubrey's voice, she can scan Aubrey's QR code and hear Aubrey's responses as weird as they may be. I don't know. I haven't asked her yet. I asked the other six kids. So that's kind of what I want to make, but I don't want my mom to know that it's for her. So it's kind of cool that it's a QR code. She'll have no idea what the stuff is. So anyways, mom, I know you're watching this, so I hope you enjoyed your gift. I hope it's unique and that you know how to work the QR scanner on your phone. But my watch is buzzing, so let me check that cake, see if it's like cooked yet all the way through. I do need to put two more in. I didn't want to overwhelm the oven, and I think that's kind of what's happening here. And then we'll record Aubrey's responses and you guys will get to see her do it. Okay, Aubrey, mommy has a couple questions for you, okay? Can you tell me your favorite? Hey, hey, yeah, that's mommy. Oh, you want another cupcake? Okay. Okay, tell me your favorite thing about Nanny. I have no idea what you just said. What is your favorite memory of Nanny? Do you remember Nanny? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite memory? And that's mommy. Do you love Nanny? Mm -hmm. And then what do you want to tell Nanny? I want Coco. Uh huh. Is it that too? Okay, say I love you, Nanny. Well, that worked. You know, just some bribery gets you a long way. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I'll have to edit this later. The cool thing about like the memos on your phone is you can trim pieces so that if there's like a long pause, you can get things closer together. <laughs> and then uh, with the QR coded, I used a free website and you can just search like QR code to or like voice memo to QR code or whatever and then free. Mommy, did this one? Um, in a little bit, deal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can just kind of search like free QR code generator or whatever and it'll pop up. I'll share with you guys the one that I'm using. There's other ones I think. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like separate ones. I think what I could have done is like just made it all one, but I think it'll be more fun for her to like, you know, pick one person's little answers and listen to them and she can do that whenever. And then as making magnets, she'll be able to put them on her fridge and uh, you know, kind of have it be some de some type of decoration. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I'll try to give you guys an update on how she likes it and if it was, you know, more difficult than it needed to be. Now, Aubrey, do you want to say anything to our viewers? Nanny. Nanny. Nanny is a viewer. Do you love Nanny? Mm -hmm. I love Nanny too. Mm -hmm. I'm happy she was born. I'm happy. You're happy? Hmm. Help mommy with the cupcakes. Can you sit on your chair? Mm -hmm. Good job. And can you take a cupcake and put it on the plate? Mm -hmm. My mommy cupcake. Good job. Uh, your little hands are so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, should we do more? Okay, here I come with more. Yeah. We have to get ready for the party. Party? Yeah. Here, get one more for that tray. That tray. And put it right there. Perfect. I love what you Yeah. Okay, we have more. Okay. Is that, uh, that white? White. And, and purple. Purple. Good job. And white. And white. There, there goes. Thank you. to give Aubrey screen time during the day unless we're like in the car or on a stroller walk but I'm setting her up on the TV right now because I need to make the frosting for this German chocolate cake and that requires like cooking on the stove and I'd rather just not have her too close I don't want her to get burned and this is just gonna work out for us there's no one else around Juan is helping my sister and brother-in-law with their yard so you know, you do what you gotta do, and I'm trying to keep her safe right now and still be productive. So let's make the frosting for this German chocolate cake. To make this, we want to have our bowl over medium heat, and we're gonna pretty much combine our evaporated milk. I have a cup of this. Now I gotta say, I love like measuring out all this stuff beforehand, like when I'm filming, because it does make it easier, but it creates so much more mess than just measuring and pouring stuff in. So there's definitely a downside. We got our sugar. We have our three egg yolks and I'm just gonna lightly mix them. All right, we got our half a cup of butter that's been softening all day. So it'll melt down nice and quick and our vanilla. And once this cooks for, they say, about like 12 minutes on the recipe thing, we're going to add in our coconut and chopped pecans. After I think we turn off the heat, I'll have to double check that. And they say cook this, I, I double checked, it said cook until nice and thick for about approximately 12 minutes, like continuing to stir. And then we add in the coconut and pecans. Seems like they said like heat occasionally, maybe if it needs to get, I don't know, more liquidy or like melted down I guess maybe it gets too thick if it is cool for a long period of time so keep that in mind 
And you may be wondering why I use loaf pans instead of like round pans, like usually the recipe calls for. I thought this would kind of make for a fun stackable cake. My dad said the layers were gonna be pretty short, but these look like they're gonna be pretty tall. So we might have just two separate cakes. Um, but I was just thinking like a nice long cake would look cool. So I don't know, I guess this is, I don't know, more doughy. <laughs> than I was expecting based on my dad's memory of when he made it last. So I don't know, I'm going to figure this out, but it definitely made more cake than I thought it was going to make. And the other thing was originally I thought I was going to half this recipe because we have all these other cupcakes. And I thought since we probably won't get like three full layers of a round cake, why not make it like rectangular and that way we can just kind of slice it this way and it'll be easier to store and easier to serve that way. So I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I'm happy with how they look, they look good. Okay, so I pulled out like, I guess some of the cooked egg yolk pieces. When I stopped stirring, like there were like thicker, oranger pieces and it's a thicker frosting anyways but those were kind of too large for my liking and my guess is that's just kind of like the skin of the egg yolk that maybe cooked a little too fast once I put it in but otherwise this is looking good still we have a few more minutes to keep cooking this before I add in the other ingredients and in the meantime we've got this cutie over here I like her little setup and she's always got so many good manners she Asked for a blanket, and I, she said thank you when I gave her her milk. Aubrey, look at mama. I love you so much. All right, in the time that it took me to film that, this definitely thickened up. So I'm going to add in the coconut. Got some shredded coconut here. And my chopped but actually broken apart pecans. Now I am not really one to like nuts in cakes. I like the textures to just kind of be similar throughout so I probably won't be eating too much of this but you know the more for my parents and anyone else in my family who really likes this. Also looking at how much is being made here Knowing how much frosting my dad likes, he might have me make like another half batch to cover all of the cakes, <laughs> which will be fine. But, you know, I probably should have planned even more ahead. But I'm going to let my mom actually decide on this one because she is the birthday girl. So, mom, let's see what you pick. All right, so this is looking nice and thick and like spreadable, kind of as I would anticipate for this type of cake. So I turned off the heat and now, since my parents still aren't home from church, I think I'm gonna go give Aubrey a bath because she needs one. And I don't know about you guys, but like that has not been her favorite activity lately. She hates getting washed like at all. She hates water, unless we're playing outside, which is weird. So I end up like bathing her and not showering her, like not washing her hair until she's out of the shower and then I lay her on the counter and like rinse it off over the sink and that just kind of works for us but that's going to take a little while so I'm going to do that and then my parents will get home we're going to eat and I will check in after my crafts are done so that you guys can actually see the final product and then we'll call it quits. After we enjoyed dinner I was able to assemble the cakes as you can see here we had this nice little crystal plate type thing that fit a loaf pan sized cake so it worked out perfectly. I laid down the cake and then I did a nice thick layer of the frosting and as I was laying the frosting down I realized there was no way I was going to be able to cover four layers of cake with frosting so I consulted with my mom and she said go ahead and use all the frosting on just two layers of the cake and this would be good enough for her birthday and then I went ahead and froze the other two layers of cake. I wrapped them in saran wrap, put them in a freezer bag, and we froze those. And sometime this upcoming week, I'm actually going to be making a little bit more frosting and just freezing that in its own container so that we have cake that we can enjoy anytime in the future. And when that was all done, I wrapped up this cake, put it in the fridge, and put Aubrey to bed, and then got working on my crafts. Okay, guys. It is 2 a.m. So I was going to say, hey, it's not a new day. I just showered. Well, I guess it is a new day, but 
you know, I got clean too after giving Aubrey a bath. I did want to show you guys how my little crafts turned out. So I have a magnet for each little grandkid and it has its own QR code for my mom to scan. So we're going to put these on her fridge after I gift it to her and she opens it up and I explain how it all works. And then I made a duplicate little thing for my mother-in-law. I don't have a way to hang it yet. I'm going to use like Sona can tabs. I just need to go get some. So there's this. You can also like glue magnets if you want it to be magnetized. And that was the last of my current crafts, but I want to get your guys' opinion. So I have this glass clear plate that I got from the Dollar Tree and my mom when we were growing up had like a you are special today plate and we would get to you know have our food on that plate for birthdays or if there was some other event like a graduation or something like that so i want to make something similar using my etching cream and i'm debating on the style of the plate like do I want it? I don't want it just to be for birthdays. So I want it to be like a you are special today type of plate. I don't know if I want my design to just be in the center here or if I should have like the you are special today, like maybe say it once and say it twice and have it be around the rim. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any like really creative ideas on what I can put for this plate to be like a special plate that Aubrey and any future kids can use as we grow, you know, as our as we grow our family so sorry i'm tired it's really late and i still have to clean up uh but yeah let me know about that that will definitely be a future video because i have a couple things that i want to do etching cream on and i'd like your guys's feedback before i do it so drop those down in the comments below i'd like to thank you for joining me on this very hectic and busy day in preparation of my mom's little birthday party that we're having tomorrow I hope you guys enjoyed the German chocolate cake. Uh, I think we're excited to eat that stuff that we decided to freeze <laughs> in the future. And I hope you guys really like my crafts that I did. I am really proud of this little idea that I put together for my mom. And mom, I hope that you enjoyed the gift. Uh, Mother-in-law, ma, I hope you enjoyed your little craft that I made you today. And yeah. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. Please subscribe if you guys are new. Sorry that I'm tired and I will catch you guys in the next one. Aubrey, can you, what is this? A stethoscope. Good job. Please remember you are loved and made for greatness and we'll catch you in the next one.